what'd you get? <laughs> the old dream. Oh, the old dreamsicle. I don't actually. That's not what I wanted. I want. I wanted the peach one. Oh, the peach fizz. That one's what's out. I don't see it though. I don't see it either. So it's the old lemon. 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 Well, he might not be going dream school, but I'm going to. We're going hunting. Um, I don't like filming at quick shop, so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, what's up? It is cold. It's not really, really, really cold. There's just enough wind to make it feel really cold. Today, Bob and I are gonna go do a little public duck hunt. And if we're lucky, and everything goes the way I wanted to, we're gonna shoot some coots too. We are gonna go hunt some public marshland and it should be interesting. This will be the first time I've ever public duck hunted and it'll be like the fifth time I've ever duck hunted. I'm pretty pumped about it, but we'll see exactly how it all turns out. I mean, it is public, so, you know, get what you get. <laughs> hey guys, um, we got sat down now. It's too dark for the GoPro to actually pick up the spread and everything, so, uh, I'll show you that after a little bit here. But we got, what, two dozen decoys out? Yeah, two, two and a half dozen probably. Two, two and a half dozen decoys. Got one mojo. We got Fred. We got Bob. We got me. And we got, actually, we've seen some ducks already. We've heard heard a few of them. Right, going up to our left. Ooh. <laughs> Coming back. <laughs> Ooh, one landing, two landing in the yep. spread. Same two. So it is uh, too close to shooting light for me to use my light. I don't wanna, don't wanna mess stuff up. We've had two, I think it was Woody's, um, swinging through the decoys already. Let's get this thing going. I'm, I am super pumped. If we can get just a couple birds down, nice little public hunt here. We're the only ones that we've really seen. Uh, I think there's another set of hunters maybe a mile from us, half mile. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Oh. How? Well, at least well, we got some action. Well, uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button because we can't hit anything. Set. Well, I'm hoping the jitters are out of the way because that was horrible. Well, when they, you have to let. Oh, here, here, three, 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 three. Shoot them. Oh. <laughs> they came over they... like a jet. They went wow. straight up over the top of me. I was off centered. I didn't even shoot. Yeah, coming over the top of me here. Way up there. There's two more. Oh, that's a good flock there. And there they come. Oh, man, they come up quick. I was going to let them work. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you got to take what you can get. That's for sure. I was still on the... I just knew the last couple times I couldn't hit him doing that. <laughs> I know now. My bad. They just bombed right over the top. They're, they're right back in front of us. I was like, at least. Dead bird, Fred. Ah, I got one. That was definitely all you. <laughs> I know I didn't hit anything. After all those whiffs, I'm glad I finally got something. Yeah, that was, it, they, so they buzzed on us uh, out of nowhere from with the wind. That was the thing. That's what caught me off guard. It was oh, with yeah. the wind. Then they circled and came back. They came Hard flying over hit. like five foot. Just whoa. Yeah. I mean, that's some close shooting there on small teal. You guys needed the thumbs up button because I finally hit something after that horrible display earlier. I thought it was right over here. Good boy, Fred. You found it? Good boy. Good boy. Good yeah, Fred. it wasn't dead. He found it, chased Good. it down. No, it wasn't dead. No. Good boy, Freddy. He found it in here. Yeah, he must have swam in, swam in there, eh? Come on, Fred. What do you got there? A little green. A little green wing tail. Little green. Green wing tail, baby. Look at that on the board. 
Well, let's get set back down. It's golden hour. <laughs> all right. Come on, Fred. Huh? Turns out there's a hole in the waders after all. You got a hole in your waders? Just in the back of one heel. It's like, oh, oh that's no. a little wet. Way to get him! Dude, I didn't think I was gonna hit him! <laughs> it's a duck though, isn't it? It's a duck. Shoot that bird. Water swat him. I got you. <laughs> we had to double tap that bad boy. Dead bird, Fred! He's like, Dead bird. where'd it go? Well, we just had a seal coming and land in the spread. Well, you know. There he goes. Dead he's bird, dead. Fred. And, I mean, it's not like he didn't decoy. There he goes. Fred Water swat him. Absolutely killing it. It's a bird. That's your bird, dog. That's definitely your bird. Oh, is that because it's a hen? No, no. <laughs> I know. Ready? Yeah. I caught a duck. <laughs> not, not, not here as cool as you know a real good catch was. But I didn't drop it, so. Yep. Okay, so I water swatted it. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it. It's a bird and it's legal. So, thank you. Appreciate it. Well, the sun's starting to poke up now. Um, it's starting to slow down a bit. Not that it was crazy, but that was a lot of fun for, for what we're doing today. Um, so, what we got spread wise here? Got a few sitting out over on this side. The main body of it is right here. There's a couple over on the side. We got our one mojo. Obviously, like I've said several times, this is like my fifth duck hunt. And that is why those little new mistakes yeah I, I'm getting a little antsy a little anxious I am excited for this year so you know please forgive the the newbiness but I'm having fun and I'm here to learn and thanks to Bob I actually get a chance to do some of this stuff so big props out to big props to Bob for uh, taking me along you know teaching the new guy something so but yeah hopefully we'll get a few more down if not I'm counting it as a hundred percent success so far other than the poor shooting that happened you know but we got a couple down we're having we're having a good time though i can't hit sh <laughs> getting non-stop buzzed by these blackbirds yeah. just on and on and on and we missed them ah oh they were beautiful birds, they were we were sitting here and we knew there was some teal behind us working around so we were trying to get them over here. They just disappeared and then about two minutes later they literally came about probably two foot over Bob's head. Just kind of scared him I think. I mean if he's honest about it. But uh, there's a few birds around still. It's been really slow ever since about 8 o'clock. It's about 8.25 now. The rooster, pheasant. There's, a the water. there's a cock pheasant flying across the water right there. <laughs> I think he's in the wrong game. <laughs> uh, there might be hens over here, but I don't think that they're interested in him. Yeah. But uh, there are a few big ducks around, a lot more teal. There's just not many birds out here, but it is slowed down a lot. Hopefully we'll still pick up one. It's getting pretty close to being done, I think. But uh, hey, maybe there's a few more left in the bag yet. We'll see. It's a couple days later and there is no transition. So anyway, hopefully this part will be better. So we're doing the cook part of this whole catch, clean, cook. And I was trying to think of something different to do. And so we are going to do whole roast teal, seasoned and then wrapped in bacon. And I'm going to make a black pepper corn au pois to go with it as well. Okay, here are our teal. Aren't they cute? I just snapped the wings off of them, um, plucked them and ended up with these cute little guys. They have been soaking in salt water for about two days now. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna season them with some seasoned salt and some garlic salt. All right, gonna sear them breast side down to start out with. Got a little bit of butter in the pan. I'm gonna flip them here in a little bit. Hopefully they'll get a nice little little crust on them. Oh boy. Look at that. Got a nice little crust on them. We're going to let that side sear. Then we're going to stick them over onto my pan. We're going to put some rosemary on them, wrap them in bacon, and then chuck them in the oven. 
right, got a nice little sear on the other side. Gonna set this pan, hopefully it's not too burned, aside for later. What I'm gonna do now is I have some fresh rosemary and I'm gonna lay a sprig on top of each one and I might even chuck a little bit in the cavity and then wrap them in bacon. And then after I get that done, I have the oven set to 375 on confection because I want the bacon to get a little bit crisp if it's possible. Um, gonna chuck them in there. Duck, normally you want done a little bit more on the rare, medium rare side. So I'm gonna try and do it for maybe, put them in there for, I'm gonna start at maybe 20 minutes, 20, 30, it shouldn't take real long. I might even check them at 15, I'm not sure. But I don't wanna overdo it by any means because duck gets real livery really quick and it's teal, I don't wanna mess them up. I mean, isn't that gorgeous? There we go. Set the timer there for 15 minutes and uh, we'll check them then. Well, let's get to making that sauce. In this pan, we had about you know, three fourths cup of chicken broth. I also need about, that looks like about a couple tablespoons, right? give or take, of, I like to use the spicy brown mustard. Um, grip upon, I really like that one. But anyway, this coarse ground mustard, that's what I like to use. And you wanna whisk that together. Now that it's all whisked together, we wanna add about a cup, and we'll probably add about a cup and a half actually, of, I'm using heavy whipping cream. We'll go a strong cup, cup and a quarter maybe. And you wanna whisk that together. I also have some crushed peppercorns. Once you get this all mixed together, you wanna let it set and let it, oh, you don't wanna let it cook very long. Once it starts to bubble, let it go for about 30, 45 seconds and get it off the heat. I've got it on medium high heat right now. And it's only been on for about, oh, since I added the cream, maybe a minute, minute and a half and it's already starting to put up some bubbles. So here in about 30 seconds, I'm gonna yank that. If you want, you can add just like a little bit of flour if you want to thicken it, just a little bit. Don't go crazy, because it's the sauce, not gravy, all right? So just add a little bit just to get it to thicken up a little bit if you want a little bit thicker. Boy, that's, that's squeaky. Anyway. Ho, 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 ho. Those smell awesome. Take one of these little guys here. I'm gonna spoon a little sauce over here. All right, I'm not gonna be able to cut this open with one hand. Oh, maybe just a little bit too long. It's still pretty red in there, so I, so I think actually I nailed it. I'm pretty pumped about this. Uh, I'm gonna cut off a piece and then uh, you guys can get to watch me eat it. Now, I don't want to tell you that's a perfect cook on that, but that is dang close to being perfect. So, gonna give it a healthy dosing in this aqua here. Oh, almost forgot the bacon. So, the first flavor you get, because I had the bacon on the outside, obviously, was bacon, which is awesome. I'm gonna make my own bacon, so uh, it's even extra awesome. And then the apois has that nice creamy flavor, a little bit of bite from the mustard. The nice beautiful tone of that cracked pepper gives a little bit of bite in there. And then the meat's just perfect. It's really not gamey. Like, the reason I love teal is it's not overpowering. I think soaking it in that salt water helped a lot for that couple days there. But uh, do this. Next time you have the chance of doing some teal, do this. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. It is 100% it is worth it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>